came here, it was like, wow, what a town. We were like kings. We were like celebrities. We were like rock stars. It's not about race. It's not about where you're from. It's not about how much money you have. It's about humanity. If we can change the hearts and minds of people on different sides of the planet, I think this is just the beginning. Uh, such a good message there. And that was a little snippet of a new documentary. It's called Zulu Summer, the story of an African prince and his two colleagues, and their very obscure journey that landed them in, of all places, Butte, Montana. Imagine, Crazy. Right? The mastermind behind the project is director, editor, and CT native Eric Schrader. Great to have you back here. Hey. Hello, party. I Absolutely. came for the pizza to talk to you. You know, I just got from LA about an hour ago. Well, thanks for coming in. You, you got your whole family, the whole entourage. Well, I just want to let you know, like, there's Johnny Depp in LA, there's, you know, Sandra Bullock. Well, we I see Keith. Keith Coots. I oh. get excited. Keith Coots is well, a big deal. He's like a know. big deal. Tim, Gil Simmons, Darren Kramer, the whole I was like <laughs> starstruck when I saw Keith. And, and Teresa, of course. But this oh, is, right. we're, we're happy to have you home, but this is such an incredible project. So you basically discovered this story. It's, it's like the real life story of coming to America. There was a few of us. Uh, there was my co-director, Joe Litzinger, and we had a few other people from Montana that contacted, contact, uh, contacted us. But yeah, when I tell people about the story, I say, you ever, they say, what are you working on? And I say, well, you ever see coming to America? Like, yeah, movie. of course, yeah. And I said, well, we made the real one, except wow. they don't go to Queens. They go to Butte, Montana. And no, the people just give me a blank stare going, what? Why? why would they go there? <laughs> why Montana? So, so what's the story behind that? How did it all why kind of... Why did they end up in Butte, Montana? Uh, the Prince has a radio station, and he was looking to reach out to other community radio stations. Uh -huh. There's a station in Butte, Montana that goes by the tagline, America's Most Radio. So he went on the internet, <laughs> wrote them an email, the DJs there thought it was a scam oh. and that he, they wanted his credit card. Yeah. And it turned out to be real. And they came over here and spent the whole summer in Montana and we documented their experience. They met Bernie Sanders. Which is crazy. They were the grand marshals of the 4th of July parade. Oh my uh, goodness. Uh, they, they saw fireworks for the first time. And it was quite the journey for all of them. And it's wild because in the trailer you see uh, really uplifting messages. So I'm sure on, on both sides everyone kind of learned a lot from this experience. Talk to us a little bit about the Zulu Prince and, and what he learned. I think for them, the Prince gets off the plane and he says on camera, he goes, I've never hung out with so many white people before. <laughs> it's a new experience. And for me going right? to Montana, I don't know much about Butte. I thought yeah. maybe that's like some redneck hick town. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It was the Atlantis. It's my new place to go. Oh, not really? Vegas. Not no. Butte is Montana, beautiful. Huh? I'm sure it's very serene. Anthony Bourdain there. had an episode in Montana, okay, and he right. spent a good portion in Butte. And he, lo I mean, Butte's beautiful. And and it's cool because we actually have uh, one of the stars of the documentary here on CT Styles in in some oh, wait, way, shape, wait, or wait. form. See, this is what happens when you you make friends with Zulus. They start okay. face timing you. They, uh -huh. Can we get a close up at all? Uh -oh. <laughs> There's a Zulu. Uh, there it is, there right there. Is. Camera two. Camera two. Hi. Hi there. S say hi, Mokai. Good, oh. Mokai, how are yeah, you? Oh, wait, am I on camera or something? Yeah, yeah you're on camera. Yeah, you're, you're live right oh, now. Oh, hi guys, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> so, so, you've been to Butte, Montana. Will you be coming to Connecticut soon? Uh, I hope so. I'll come to Connecticut sometime. I'd really love to visit the place because Eric is from there. And Rick Flair is from there, the guy on WWE. Oh, Woo! that's true. That's wow. give, me, give me a little Rick Flair uh, impression, stuff. Mokai. Woo! Woo! There you go. Well, Mocha, thanks for hanging out with us. Anytime you stop by to Connecticut, feel free to uh, check it out. And we're really excited to watch your new documentary. Eric did such a fabulous job with it. Hey, it's going to be. Where can we see it, actually? Well, screening. wonderful thing uh, the screening is tomorrow, the East Coast premiere. We had it in Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. uh, International Film Festival. Huge turnout. It was over 900 people. It was beyond my wildest dreams. And now we're having the East Coast premiere at NH Docs, mm -hmm. uh, Gordon Bouchard's uh, Documentary Film Festival. All the information's right there, 4 p.m. It's going down tomorrow at the Whitney Humanities Center in New Haven, Connecticut. You guys can check it out. It's going to be an awesome screening, so please support our... And we also have iTunes, July 2nd, right before the 4th of July. I'll be out on iTunes and oh, Amazon. Awesome Congratulations stuff. on your success. Thank you. Good to see it. Very cool, Eric. And, and big shout-out to your new Zulu friends as well. The Prince, Mokai, Kokela, we love you. We miss you. And we love you, too. Aww.